I'm going to show you how to automatically turn down the volume while you're watching videos and they switch to an action scene or something explodes or a gunshot and it jumps up way in volume. Uh, it's pretty annoying. Some of the worst movies are action movies for that kind of stuff. They Movie producers tend to do this kind of stuff because it makes people feel like the movie is more action packed or just ridiculous reasons. What it boils down to is it's annoying. Uh, so we're going to be using VLC Media Player to do it. I'll go ahead and give you an example here. As you can see, I've already got the uh, I've got the VU meter for the microphone showing over here. You can see as I'm talking, it's moving. I tap it; it goes up to the max. So let's go ahead and see what it sounds like without normalization. That's what this is called, by the way, volume normalization. during that video. In VLC you want to go to Tools, Preferences, switch to your audio panel, check the normalized volume to. I prefer to drop it down to 1. This is uh, this is how much of the audio it's looking at to analyze to see if the audio has increased over time. And if you have a higher number then it's looking at say 5 seconds of video and the audio jumps up for a quick gunshot. It won't get normalized. So I tend to drop it down to about one. Once you got that part, switch to full preferences view. Go to audio filters and check that one too. Hit save, and this is very important. You must close VLC for these uh, for these effects to go into effect. So we'll close that out, and then we'll watch it again. stays normal throughout the rest of the video while people are talking and things like that and then when it jumps to some loud explosion or a gunshot or whatever you don't get your ears blasted off me personally I spend so much time watching a movie turning the volume up and down up and down up and down it gets annoying and it really ruins the movie experience for me so thank the guys at video land for making VLC media player and including the normalizer plugin hope you find it useful